Minneapolis, Minnesota. And at the Wild Man Brewing Company in Minneapolis, Minnesota, back in our hometown again. I mean, we said, there's so many places that we haven't yet discovered, and there's so many new breweries here. We're back in Minnesota, and we want to invite you to join us for a brand new experience here in, in the summertime in Minneapolis, Minnesota. These guys are known for a lot of different brews. They do the THC, the cannabis, but they also do some great brews and farmhouse ales, IPAs, and uh, we're excited to try it out. Let's go inside and find out what we can find here. Wild Mind Ales, South Minneapolis. Excited to give this one a try because we have never been here before. They got a nice little little section going on for some merch, but brewing it all on site. And you see small tanks too, right? So small batch stuff going on here. But man, I like it. It's just wide open here inside, as you can see. Got a bar bunch of picnic tables kind of set up and then this outside area is what's really cool to me i mean they got a different little vibe going on here they got you know some fire pits they got tents going on there if you want some shade but let's go wild mind brewing in minneapolis minnesota beautiful day sun shining hell yeah um gosh this is a really unique type of a atmosphere isn't it this is a different vibe. I mean, we're going to be hitting with some that we have never even been to nope. before. And this is definitely one of them. And it's tucked back in this little industrial area back here. And no traditional flight. Nope. But, hey, they got some interesting stuff that I'm excited yeah, to try. Yeah, stuff that we haven't seen Absolutely. before. Yeah, no, it's not like traditional. No, oh, they it's, got it's... this and that or whatever. This is all new stuff. We're going to try a Heffenweisen first, which is a sunroom Heffenweisen, but a little bit different than what your normal Heffenweisen would be. Uh, this is made with vanilla ice cream, ripe bananas, and cloves. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I'm going to like that. You probably won't. Um, that is... Ooh, it is heavy. <laughs> it is a heavy beer. But I've never had that flavor in a beer before like that. Because it's not like a like 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 um a shaky like a it it doesn't taste like a milk shaky like a porter. I can't even describe it. It's, it's I mean I've it, never had anything like it. But the I, cloves it I mean it's almost I mean the cloves definitely take over it for me. I mean, I don't taste any vanilla. I'm oh, sorry. I don't taste vanilla. I taste banana and cloves. Banana and cloves. Yeah. It's overwhelming to me. But um, this is called the sunroom. And she said the great, a nice very bartender, popular. really nice. And yeah, she says this this is really popular. It's one of their popular ones. And I can see why because yeah. you can't get this anywhere else. Well, like that. up at the bar, I saw like there was two people up there that they were both they they both had that particular one. Never had a. Never saw anything like this. Yeah, did before. you see the cut? Look, look yeah. at the how it looks. So, um, that was different. I oh, mean, it's good. That's one that I would never buy or ever drink or ever buy again when I came here. <laughs> it's probably good for those of you who like that, that, that type of thing, but it is. They used to make a clove chewing gum. I don't know if they still do or not. You get it at TJ Maxx and shit <laughs> up front. <laughs> in that fucking wrapper. I hated right. that stuff too. So, all right. The next one up we've got is a, um, they, they make, in fact, they, they make more, they have more size ons here than I've seen anywhere. I yeah. got three different types. So we decided to try the tiger in a trance, which is, uh, it's, it's, it's mold citrus, whatever that means. I don't mold. Know, mold, mold, M U L L E D. By the way, it's dog friendly. If you, uh, yeah. Um, and it's got with Minnesota wildflower honey and a bitter melon. So it sounded interesting to me. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about Saisons and farmhouse ales, we're talking about the traditional ones like the tank sevens and the, uh, spotted cow and the farm girl. So, uh, interested to see what they serve up because they seem to do a lot of things different here. And they say that in their, when they talk about this brewery, they, Wild Minds Ale Tap Room, they, they say that we're different. We, we are, we are 
experiencing beer in a different way and yeah, so man. far and then it's all small batch i mean it was hard to see through the little window where they're brewing it but it's all small batch and so that's why they can experiment i think oh my goodness that's different <laughs> i mean it's got a it's definitely got they ha, they definitely have their own signature to these beers yeah this one did anyway. Let me try this. this is that, that you're gonna, it's it again. It's it's got a, it's got a, con, definitely a, oh, a non consistent type of um. Wow. Say those things again. It's what? It's tangerine. Is that what you said? Or cit citrus? Mold. Sit mold. Whatever mold, that means. Yeah. Um, Minnesota wildflower honey. Honey. It's probably the honey base. And a bitter melon. Bitter melon. So it's a rotten water. It's got melon. a little bite, yeah. And it's not an IBU bite. It's the bitterness oh, of that melon. <laughs> that's interesting, man. That's they don't have a traditional uh, IPA. They have they have three different hazy IPAs, which is unique. I wonder what they're. Um, they have a flagship. You think so? We didn't ask them for what their flagship. Yeah, we didn't ask them. It's probably this one right here. I mean, that's that's a unique one. Um, we chose the critical path hazy IPA because it's got the highest ABVs and it's hopped with, um, Citra and Strata, uh, which I really like. So, um, it's it, got the hops you it's like. It's very hazy. It smells very, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. It's not a it's not a traditional West Coast or anything like no. that, but it's it's not no, claiming I, to be, right? See, I could drink that one. It's a good it's a good IPA. In fact, it's really good. It, it goes down really smooth and easy, and I love these glasses. Look at these glasses yeah, that they got. That's what I was just checking out. I, I want to try that cool. one. Oh man! The Whoa. most three unique beers I think I've ever had at a craft brewery. That's pretty hoppy. I'm serious. It, it's it's only three. Oh, ah. I don't like it, huh? No. Nope. Oof! What's wrong with it? That's that's for hop lovers. It's a hop lover. That's what I mean. I, I saw it and I go, that's for hop lovers, man. That's not for me. Oh. Yeah, that's strong. It's 8%. And they had some THC shit going on in there too, right? Yeah, Minnesota's just uh, released. Uh, uh, we were here last December. And, right on uh, tap. It was only only available in bottles. So, right. um, yeah, they're they're really high on that sort of thing. So, uh, again, uh, we're experiencing another round of Minnesota breweries and craft breweries. And all the breweries are making them. And so th I think that that's what's cool because that's what we were just talking about. Like if you were a craft brewer when all you had was beer, man, I bet you'd be struggling, don't you think? Oh, yeah. And this this is no food. It's all food trucks. They have a right. couple of different food trucks out here. Food trucks will help, I I think. I really like this IPA, guys. Man, you this can is have really it. good. And this banana sun, what was it? The sunroom or something? Sun, sun, something. Isn't that's it good. funny? I mean, the taste that, that you have when you accrue that, and that's, that's what makes the beer guys interesting, I think, is that we don't, you know, we, we don't have a, we're not connoisseurs, but we know what we like. And, uh, uh, just like there's people out there that got like those sours, right? Yeah. I mean, neither one of us, we would just be like, eh. It's really a nice atmosphere, though. It is. This this is really comfortable here. That lady's recording us right there. She so here we go. Yeah, the beer guy's about to blow up off her. <laughs> She's going to repost that shit. <laughs> Love it. All right, so we're just getting started here, right? So we got a lot more to come. But Wild Mind, if you're looking for something unique, different, because I'm sure this shit rotates all the time, oh, yeah. too definitely stop by here and check them out because it's a south minneapolis vibe. if i could ever steal a glass it would be this one this is the coolest glass really i think i've ever cool. seen yeah <laughs> all right